What's going on everyone, John here from The Real Talk, back again with another review, and that is for Cold Pursuit, uh, directed by Hans-Peter Molin, and starring Liam Neeson, Tom Bateman, Emily Rossum, and Laura Dern, kind of stumbled on names there, it's kind of a unique cast to remember, but anyways, um, so... I've always been real on the real talk with you guys, pun intended. Um, that was a horrible pun. But anyways, um, this movie, I didn't know it existed until like three three weeks ago. I was looking at films to watch uh, in 2019, and I was like, okay, cool. Let's see what's coming out on Flixster. Flixster is an app on your phone that you know has all the movies and showtimes and stuff like that. So I always look on there. I looked, and there was Cold Pursuit. I was like, okay, cool. Another throwaway Liam Neeson film uh, like last year's The Commuter and stuff like that. Uh, he's kind of having, been having those, I think it was like Unknown or something like that. He was on a, on a plane that time. And then on the community, he was on a train. So maybe he's going to battle freaking snakes. And they're going to make a snakes on the plane too with Sam Jackson and Liam Neeson. Uh, that's that's a pitch for Hollywood. Guys, if you guys see that movie, send me a nice check. <laughs> but anyways, he's kind of been having you know his follow-up with movies. But uh, So this one, I, I haven't even seen the trailer yet. And I kind of want to see the trailer and kind of my reaction to what is this movie. Because when I went to go see it, all I had, like, all I've heard about the movies is my one of my good buddies said, hey, go watch it. And then on Twitter, everybody was really divisive on it. So I was like, okay, let's see what this movie is all about. And to be perfectly honest, I think that not watching the trailer really made me enjoy this movie. Because I had no idea what to get, that what to expect, I mean. And what I got was something completely unexpected. Like, I was just not expecting this type of film. It is listed as an American action black comedy. And, you know, I'm glad I didn't even see that before. Because it is. It's exactly that. It's a really dark comedy as well. Because once the comedy starts, I was I missed it the first few times. Because I was like, the first few times they attempt a joke, I'm just like, this is out of the blue. Like, the, the, literally, the first 5-10 minutes of the movie... It's not like the rest of the film. So I was expecting something and then this comedy started. And I was just like, what the heck? Where did this come from? I was like, was that meant to be funny? But once I understood what the filmmakers were trying to go for, um, I, I I really enjoyed the movie. I had a great time at the movie. And I, and I loved that the theater I went to, everybody was behind it as well. We all accepted the fact that it was this, this kind of like cheesy action dark comedy. Like, you know, we're like, okay, this is what we're getting. And as... To my knowledge, I don't think that's what the trailer sold. Uh, again, I haven't seen the trailer. I probably should. I should probably just you know include that in, include that in this review. But anyways, um, what else can I say about the movie? Liam Neeson was actually pretty good in this. Uh, I obviously he's not you know Academy Award winning Liam Neeson, but I thought he was solid from uh, what I've seen with him in recent years. Also, Laura Dern was in this. I was you know I didn't expect her. Like I said, I didn't see the trailer, so I didn't know who was this. Emily Rossum was on this as well. Her storyline, and if you guys don't know who that is, if you guys seen the movie, she's that cop that's trying to get information about like one of the um, sort of uh, drug dealing crews or whatever. Um, and I, I, I just didn't, I didn't know where that story was going. Like, it, I don't know if it fit really. Like that part of the story, I was like, okay, well, you do really need cops in this, you know? I kind of really went nowhere in my opinion. But anyways, um, so. Like you're seeing, this movie's not perfect. I'm not saying it's the best, one of the best films of the year or anything like that. It's just that I was not expecting to get this type of film. So, uh, I mean, if you're thinking about going, I say go watch it, give it a try. Might not be for you, uh, but I I personally enjoyed it because it is funny. Like once it starts, like to be that type of film, it's well aware of what it's trying to be. And there's this one scene I just remembered. Actually, I was talking to it. Uh, with one of my good buddies on on Twitter, uh, there's this one scene where Liam Neeson and some other guy they get in the taxi or whatever, and, and the guys the other guy with Liam Neeson say, "Hey, change this uh, station, please. Anything but this." And there's this one specific song that comes out, and just, they make a joke out of that. And it just really works. Uh, and also something I really liked was the nicknames. The nicknames people got in sort of you know each one of the uh, drug dealing uh, crews or whatever. Um, so there's definitely a lot to like. The, the comedy definitely landed with me after I knew it was a comedy. You know, I kind of want to go back and see if there's a comedy earlier on in the film. And uh, all I'll say is I like the way the film ended. It was kind of open-ended, um, but I, I like that. But um, yeah, guys, 
if you guys are thinking about seeing uh, Cold Pursuit, like I said, I'd highly recommend it. Not highly, I'd just say go watch it. If you have an inkling in you, in, an interest in you, go watch it. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me in my review for Cold Pursuit. If you guys have seen the film, I'm highly interested to see uh, what you guys thought of the film in the comment section down below. If you guys want to follow us at side of YouTube, yes, can, at The Real Talk, talk with 2Ks on Twitter and Instagram. And you guys can also find us on Stardust, just at The Real Talk. And until next time, we'll see you at the movies. Peace.